Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News Update. Our top story, a stretch of 95 in Connecticut is going to be closed for several days after this fiery tanker truck crash. It was filled with gas and burst into flames after a chain reaction crash in Norwalk. No one was seriously hurt, but the accident badly damaged the overpass, which will now have to be torn down and replaced. Connecticut's governor says 95 will likely be closed down until at least Monday. A 76 year old Seekonk man has died after he was hit by a car in Taunton. The victim was one of two people riding their bikes on North Walker Street yesterday. Witnesses say a car crossed over the center line and hit him. A second man who was hit was rushed to the hospital with leg injuries. The driver did remain on the scene. They were cited and could face charges. Police searching for the person who shot a man in Dorchester. A bullet lodged in the side of a home on Erie Street after the shooting yesterday afternoon. Police say the man who was injured is expected to survive, but so far no arrests in this. Now time for a check of your next weather forecast on this Friday and into the weekend with meteorologist Alyssa Andrews. Well, I can certainly say that the first half of the weekend is going to play out much better than our second half. We see high temperatures scaling back to right around 60 degrees. That's going to be for later on today, and we'll see that carry over into the weekend as well. So here's what your day planner looks like. We will see a good mix of sun and clouds, but probably heavier on the cloud side. Temperatures go into the upper 50s today, but some reaching that high right around 60 degrees. It's going to be a bubble for many. And then as we look ahead to the rest of the weekend in the seven day forecast, we get more rain returning back on Sunday. High temperatures right around 59 degrees, but no worries because the warmer weather returns as early as Monday. Just a bit unsettled. We've got rain chances on and off from Sunday through Thursday, but with temperatures warming up in Tuesday, looks like the clear pick of the seven day forecast, Chris. All right, thanks, Alyssa. This has been a WBZ News Update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.